In this video, we're going to complete example one. It says, calculate the value of the obtuse angle theta, correct the nearest degree. And as we go through the questions, you're going to notice that it's a little trickier than just using your calculator when you work these out. Okay, so let's start by solving question A the way we would normally solve it. Normally, if we want to find our angle theta, we would bring sine to the other side and we would use the inverse of sine. So it would look like this. We would go theta equals sine with a little negative 1 and in brackets 0 0.5. So let's just solve this like we normally would solve it. Second function sine bracket 0 0.5 close our brackets equals and we get 30. So in this particular case theta equals 30 degrees. Now you might notice that 30 degrees is not an obtuse angle, it's an acute angle because it's an angle between 0 and 90 degrees. It asked for an obtuse angle. So how do we do that? Well, you might notice that if I have the angle of 30 degrees and I add it to the angle of 150 degrees, that I get 180 degrees degrees 30 and 150 are supplementary angles we learned that if you apply the sine function to supplementary angles that you would get the same result so our solution of 30 degrees can also be 150 degrees and this is good because 150 degrees is an obtuse angle which is what we are looking for obtuse angles being between 90 and 180 degrees. Now what I'll do, I'll just show you that we get the same result because if I go sine 150 this time you will notice I get 0 0.5 so theta can equal 150 degrees. The problem being is that calculators even though there's two solutions calculators can really only give you one solution which is why sometimes you have to make a conversion after you have solved the problem. Let's now move on to question B. This one says that cos theta equals negative 0.5 and we want to calculate the obtuse angle theta. We know that we need to bring cos to the other side and we need to use inverse cos. So we go theta equals inverse cos or cos to the negative 1 and in brackets we're going to put our number negative 0.5. So once again we just solve it how we, how we normally would on a calculator we go second function cos bracket and we type in negative 0.5 close our brackets equals and we get 120 so theta equals 120 degrees and we actually don't need to go any further because 120 degrees is already an obtuse angle okay so we can go straight to question C now following the same process bring sine to the other side except make it inverse sine. Theta equals sine with a negative 1 in brackets 0 0.632. Bringing up our calculator, what do we get? Second function sine bracket 0 0.632 close our brackets equals and we get 39 point about 19 degrees. Now it wanted it correct to the nearest degree so we would just keep this as 39 degrees. Okay, now remembering that we have to give an obtuse angle. And this is not an obtuse angle, this is an acute, an acute angle. So what's the obtuse angle going to be? Well, to find the obtuse angle, what you need to do is you need to take the number 180 and subtract the 39 degree angle. What this does is it finds you the angle that is supplementary to 39 this will give us the angle of 141 degrees and 141 degrees is the obtuse angle that we are looking for. Alright finally moving on to question D following the same process bringing tan to the other side but using inverse tan. So tan to the negative 1 and in brackets we put negative 1. Okay bringing up our calculator this time second function tan bracket 
negative 1, close our brackets, equals, and we get negative 45. So this is quite, quite a weird one, negative 45 degrees. Now this one is, is not an obtuse angle. We can't even say that this is an acute angle either. So what are we going to do in this situation? Now, I think I actually need a bit more working out. So I've, I've made a new slide here and we're going to explore this just a little bit. I want you to think to yourself, what, what if it wasn't negative one? What if it was positive one? So let's say we had 10 theta equals positive one. And let's say I solve this one. So it would have been the same process. The only difference being that in the brackets I would have had positive one as opposed to negative one. Now, now what do you think we would get? I'm quite positive that we would get 45 degrees. Because if negative one gives you negative 45 degrees, I reckon positive one would have given us positive 45 degrees. Let's just double check that anyway. Second function, tan bracket positive one equals, and we get positive 45 degrees. Okay, now this is an acute angle, but it's actually giving us the wrong solution. We want something that gives a negative one. So what angle is supplementary to 45 degrees? Well, I can find that by going 180 minus 45 degrees. This will come out to 135 degrees. The angle of 45 degrees and the angle of 135 degrees are supplementary. They add up to 180 degrees degrees. Now we learned about this in a previous video. What would happen if I found tan of 135 degrees? What would I get? Well I know that if tan of 45 degrees equals 1, that tan of 135 will also equal 1, except it will have a negative out the front. And what you'll notice is that we've found an obtuse angle, the angle of 135 degrees, that when you apply the tan function gives you negative 1, which is exactly what we were looking for. So theta must be 135 degrees. Anyway, that concludes our video on example 1. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.